So my knot's at this end, and I'm just going to stitch it forward and forwards and backwards along here a little bit so that the knot can't go through or can't be pulled out. just so down the middle of this folded piece of fabric make sure your string or whatever you're using to turn it to the right side out is staying in the fold there So there is my stitch. It's a little bit narrower than the stitching down the middle, but whatever is fine. And I'm just going to trim this excess seam allowance off and I am going to trim it quite close. I've probably trimmed it about three to four mil from the stitching line. I'll show you when I'm done because it needs to fit inside this little narrow loop that we're making. Now, these are a little bit fiddly. I know the first time I made them, I was <laughs> a little bit unsure, but they look so great when they're done and they're, they're really not that hard. So I've trimmed that down. The fun part now is turning this right side out. So I've got my tail of yarn here to pull and you don't wanna pull a lot at first because the trick here is just getting this this knotted end to fold in on itself. So once you get this, this um, your button loop to pull, like to come that bit of fabric to come down over the knot, it'll be very easy to turn. But getting that first little bit through is uh, fiddly. So I've just gotten my little end to fold in on itself, and now I can just slide that down so sometimes when you're turning something right sides out you can just push a whole lot of the fabric down as you pull um, but because we're working with something so narrow I don't recommend doing that just work in little bits at a time just keep sliding it down on itself until you get it out the right way so I now have it right sides out right side out and your knot is going to stay stuck in there. Just cut that off. And now it's ready to press. So when you press, you want to, again, it is fiddly. I'm not going to deny that. But if you can just see my seam in the fabric there, I'm going to press that, this down this way. So that seam sits in the middle of the, the bottom of my loop. 